Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how to implement Gemini AI on ESP32. Exciting, right? For those who might not know, Google Gemini is a family of multimodal large language models developed by Google DeepMind. Just like ChatGPT can use prompt to ask questions and get answers. Now you can access the Gemini API from two places, Google AI Studio and Vertex AI. Both requires a Google account. If you choose a Vertex AI, you will also need a Google Cloud account with billing enabled. But don't worry, we'll be using API from Google AI Studio, which is free and fantastic starting point for development. Here is what you need to do. Go to the Google and search for Gemini API Docs. Click on the first link that appears. Now click on Try Gemini in AI Studio button. Now click on Get API Key. We'll be creating new API key for our project. Read through the documentation. Check the required checkboxes and click on Continue. Now click on Create API Key and then click here. And then click on Create API Key in New Project. Your new API Key will be ready for you. Here is the API key we'll be using for our project. Now let's dive a bit deeper into the API and the JSON format we'll be working with. This is the JSON format we'll be using in our POST API request. This role field is the optional string. This parts field includes the text and inline data. While the text is required and inline data can be ignored. There is one more field called generation config. This field includes several parameters and most of which are optional. This is the final request which we'll be sending from ESP32. For testing, you can use CURL built-in tool to send the request like this. Update the API key here and this This text field will contain our question to Gemini AI. You can write your question here and you will get the response in JSON format. And here is the response. Even we can use Postman tool for testing and understanding the behavior. Now that we understood the structure, let's move on to the coding part and see how to implement this on our ESP32. I will be using ESP32 development board in this project. In the code, these are the header files of the used libraries. Next, we define our Wi-Fi SSID name and password details, as well as Gemini API key we generated earlier. We are using maximum number of token value as a 120. This means that we are expecting the response to be within 120 characters. If you want longer answers, you can adjust it accordingly. Here we are initializing the Wi-Fi. In the setup function, we are initializing the serial interface with baud rate of 115200 and we call the init Wi-Fi function. In the loop, we are waiting for the user input over the serial interface. If user enters something, then we are executing the following part. Here we are forming the HTTP request and call the HTTP POST function to send the request. If you get the positive feedback, we are using JSON library to extract the exact information we need. Otherwise, we are printing the error message. So let's compile the code and let's see the demo now. So let's ask some real life questions which we might ask to AI on first try. And here is the response that as an AI, I don't have feelings or expression and blah, 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 blah. Okay, 
let's ask simple 8 bit uh, maths question if you notice there is some delay to get the response back and it is due to many factors including ESP32 performance internet connectivity and many more let's ask one more question and here we go so that's all for today if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to the channel thanks for watching